Hi everyone, my name is Mary Jo and I am a third year student at the University of Toronto studying physiology, human biology and immunology. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up below. Today we will be adding food coloring to different water solutions, so hot water, cold water and water with the sugar and looking at the diffusion rate. So how fast are the particles moving in the solution? How fast is it taking for the water to become fully colored? So uh, will the diffusion rate be the same for all of our solutions or not? And if so, why? So what's happening? So we will be learning what diffusion rate is, uh, what it is affected by, and uh, where it can be found in our body working. Please note that for this video, you will need parental assistance to warm up water. So for this experiment, we're gonna need one cup of cold tap water, one cup of hot tap water, two cups of water at room temperature, two tablespoons of sugar, and two different color dyes. Please make sure they're from the same brand. For the first experiment, I'm gonna add two to three drops of each food dye in each glass of water. So I'm using red for the hot water and blue for the cold water. As we can see, the hot water is getting fully red faster than the cold water is getting fully blue. For the second experiment, I'm gonna mix the two tablespoons of sugar in one of the two cups of the water at ambient temperature. So I'm gonna mix very well, make sure that uh, all of the sugar has been dissolved. And then I'm gonna add um, two to three drops of food dye in each solution. So I am using um, blue for the solution with sugar and red for the solution uh, without sugar. And I'm gonna wait a few minutes. So as we can see, the sugar-free solution is becoming fully red faster than the solution that has sugar in it, so the blue solution. So why is the hot water becoming fully colored faster than the cold water? And why is the water without sugar becoming fully colored faster than the water with sugar? Well, this is due to the diffusion rate. The diffusion rate is the movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. So it's the movement of particles from an area where there are lots of particles in a given space to an area where there are less particles in that space. So once the drop of color reaches the water, we have a spot of color that has a very high concentration of dye compared to the rest of the water, which has a very low, almost zero concentration of dye. Therefore, the particles of the dye will diffuse from the area of high concentration which is the drop of dye, to areas of low concentration, which are the rest of the water. So now we know that the fact that the water is becoming fully colored is due to the diffusion rate. However, why is the diffusion rate faster in hot water than in cold water and in water without sugar compared to sugared water? This is due to the fact that diffusion can be affected by many different factors, like temperature and density of the solvent. So like we have seen in the experiment, when the temperature of the water increases, diffusion occurs at a faster rate. That is because there is more energy in the solution due to the high temperature, which will cause the particles to move faster. Also, as seen with the sugar, as the density of the solvent increases, diffusion occurs at a lower rate because there is now more particles in the water, so it is harder for the dye particles to be able to move. It's like you were running in an empty field or in a crowd. It is much harder for you to run fast in a crowd than in, a, in an empty field because there are more obstacles. So where can we find diffusion in our bodies? Well, when we are breathing, inspiration allows new oxygen to enter our lungs and go into our blood. Our blood will then go to all of our organs to give them oxygen. So in that case, the blood has a high concentration of oxygen while our muscles have a low concentration of oxygen. So oxygen will be diffusing from a high concentration from the blood to a low concentration in the muscles. Thanks for watching. You can now try this experiment yourself at home and don't forget to take a picture of your results and tag Pueblo Science. Also, for more content, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and TikTok, and comment below what you would like to see next. Bye!